Hello, we've got a very nice day here today. Not too sunny and not too chilly and not too hot. So it's a nice day. And we're in a very exciting spot, a great historic site. My name is Ross Marshall, and uh, I'm past president of the Oregon California Trail Association, the uh, Santa Fe Trail Association, and the Partnership for the National Trail System. So yes, I've been on a few trails in my life, but. My favorite is here in Kansas City. We've got so many historic sites and uh, so many stories in the Kansas City area. First of all, this site was first discovered by George Sibley when he was doing the Santa Fe Trail survey in, uh, in 1827. It wasn't a trail, it wasn't a site, it was just a place that he noted would be a good campground and he was going just right up here on the high ground uh, a quarter mile away for what he thought would be a good trail and it turned out to be a, a good route for the trail. Westport was founded in 1834 by John McCoy and he founded it not for the trails but he founded it because the Indian tribes had been moved here in 1830 uh, west of the Missouri border needed a place to to buy goods and so he started a trading post there and uh, that was the start of what we know as, as the town of Westport. Traders and trappers and all begin to outfit there and come this way. So they discovered a campground here in the 1830s and it became a, a rather commonly used uh, location. There was a guy by the name of Vizlisluz and he was a wealthy guy and he traveled the Santa Fe Trail in 1839 and he camped here and he said, Sapling Grove was a little hickory wood with fresh spring water. And from Sapling Grove, he said, the company marched over the broad Santa Fe Road, beaten out by caravans. Now this is 1839, and it's a well-traveled road. The Santa Fe Trail has been a trading route since 1821. So you're talking about nearly two decades. Yes, the road was fairly well beaten down. There was another guy by the name of John Marsh who went to California in, in 1837 and he bought some land from uh, Mexico who, who had uh, dominion over what we know as California now. And he bought land and made a lot of money and he began to write back here for people to come out and uh, be a part of it with him in, in uh, California. There was a young man by the name of John Bidwell who uh, lived up in Platte City. It was a new little town that just started. He was a young guy, he was only 20 years old, and he settled on some ground up there. And uh, according to well, at least one of the stories, he uh, went to St. Louis to buy some uh, equipment to come back for his farm. And when he came back, somebody jumped on his claim and he couldn't do anything about it because he was too young. He wasn't 21 yet. So he, he, got, he got foxed out of uh, the land he thought he had. He, uh, he, he put a notice out through the uh, Western Immigra Immigration Society publication uh, asking for people to join him in this rather popular camping place, Sapling Grove. The other partner on the Bidwell Bartleson party, of course, was John Bartleson, and he wasn't a young guy. Uh, he was a prosperous man from the Independence area. In fact, he was on the uh, city commission there that founded the location of today's square and the, the actual beginning of Independence in 1827. And he caught a vision here of this train that might go west to California and he thought he'd like to do it. So he joined in. And in fact, he was elected captain of the wagon train. Didn't work out very well because he was hard to get along with. And John Bidwell, the young guy, he became the, the go-to guy for a lot of the, uh, uh, of the, 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 the trek uh, to California. Anyway, they, uh, they got it all together and they left here on May the 12th for California. Got out a good bit of the way and the train split in half. The, the part that Bidwell and Bartleson were with um, uh, made it to California and there was 32 people, 32 men and, and one woman that actually got there on the bidwell Bartleson party itself. So that's the history of the first real wagon train to California, and it left from here, right here at this spot. Anyway, it's a great story, a lot of trails history here, and a lot of history of our country, part of the westward movement. I hope you found this story interesting. Thank you.